What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Madden 07 Albuquerque Vipers franchise and Monday Night Football as the Albuquerque Vipers square off against the Green Bay Packers. Both teams come into this game with a 2-1 record and both team's losses were against the San Francisco 49ers who are now 3-0 on the season after defeating us last week. No more Aaron Rodgers here in Green Bay. He moved on to Indianapolis and Ken Dorsey isn't playing horrible in his place. Seven touchdowns, three interceptions and he wasn't even supposed to be the starter going into this season. Green Bay signed Dwayne Kent in the offseason who got injured in the preseason. He should be back about halfway through the year. They got a pretty good receiving core here. Dexter Thompson is a great running back, and the Packers have a good defense. I mean, this team made it to the NFC title game last year, and it was more than just their quarterback that made it. They had a good team around him. So even though, yes, they lost their best player, the team theoretically at least shouldn't completely fall apart. But we'll have to see tonight on this Monday night game because they did get blown out against San Francisco in week one. The Vipers with the football to start off the game. A quick throw to Vaughn Lewis is going to pick up the first down. And a Green Bay secondary player, Willie Elias, is going to have to limp off of the field. First play from scrimmage. That's not what you want to see. To the ground game, Gordon takes it for a gain of two. Now the Packers send the heat on third down, but Jamarcus Ward gets wide open over the middle on the slant route. And we're going to be cooking in Packers territory. Off the play fake, Cross wants to go to the end zone here, looking for Phillips, who tried to haul that one in with one hand, but it just falls incomplete. And unfortunate news for Ellis, he suffered a strained bicep on that first play of the game and is going to be out for the remainder of it. Now on second down, Cross throws over the middle, looking for his big tight end, Lewis, but two defenders there break it up. Looking for the third down conversion, and Orlando Cross is lucky that wasn't picked off. And we're going to attempt now a 58-yard field goal. This will be one of the longest in the series, and Brian Koch's kick is up and good. He probably could have hit that one from 60 or 61 yards out. Little goes in motion on this first Green, play, Green Bay play. Dexter Thompson takes this one on the toss play to the left and weaves his way around a couple of defenders, a strong six-yard run. Now Dorsey to throw for the first time today. Wide open over the middle. It's Mitch Myers who gets smacked by John Kelly but still picks up the first down. Thompson in the backfield. They're going to give it to him. He's going to take it to the right. A nice stiff arm there. And John Kelly again on the tackle. This time holding him to a gain of five. The Packers come out in the I formation. Here's a play fake and wide open downfield. It's Ike Coleman. He just burnt Justin Williams. Touchdown, Green Bay. And we've been on that play fake pretty hard there. And it doesn't matter if your quarterback is Aaron Rodgers or just some bum like Ken Dorsey because uh, he easily found him. He got so wide open, he got into the end zone there. And Green Bay takes the lead. Here's a draw play now for Gordon. He takes it up the gut, and that's going to pick up a gain of six. Malecki in the backfield. He's going to stay in the block, and Cross is going to try to run this one himself. He's going to get tackled, falls forward for a gain of a yard or two. Third down and short. Now Cross throws this one in the flat for Trey Francis. The tight end stiff arms a defender, tiptoes down the sideline and loses his helmet at the end of that play there. Strong play by the backup tight end. Darren Gordon takes that one to the left. He's going to pick up a couple of yards. Now spreading things out on third. Down crosses rolling to his right. Throwing on the move for Jamarcus Ward. He couldn't keep his feet in bounds though. And from our, the 44-yard line now, we're going to be punting. Dorsey throws this one short to uh, Seymour here who makes the catch. The drive was a second down and 15 there after a false start penalty. So now on third down, the pass is going to be caught by Little. He's going to get brought down at the line of scrimmage, but hold on. They got roughing the passer on Bernard Bailey. So instead of fourth down and 11, it's going to be a fresh set of downs. Thompson goes up the gut here. He picks up four yards. Last play of the quarter. It's more play action. Ike Coleman makes this reception, and that's going to pick up the first down. On the draw now, it's Thompson. He gets away from the first defender there and gets brought down after picking up a solid gain of seven. Third down and short for Green Bay, cooking at midfield. Play fake again. Pass is going to be caught by Ike Coleman in heavy traffic there. Big time uh, third down conversion. Out of the eye now, Dorsey's dropping back to throw again. Going to the flat here for his fullback, Pate. He makes the reception and picks up a short gain. 
Dorsey to throw the football. Now, and he's nearly intercepted by Sykes. The first incompletion that he has thrown today. He's now 7 of 8 for 95 yards and a touchdown. Can he be 8 of 9 now? On third down, he's got his tight end, Little. And indeed, now he is 8 of 9 passing. Cooking just inside of the red zone. Now pass is going to be caught by Seymour. And he's in the end zone for the Packers. Touchdown the two re wide receivers that they've picked in the first round in recent-ish years. I mean, I guess five-plus years ago now for Seymour. But still a nice young receiver there who gets into the end zone. We get a nice receiver of our own in Charles Phillips. He follows traffic there. Cross was directing him upfield. He makes the reception. But then Troy Malone comes in, lays a big hit on him, and that is a fumble. Green Bay takes over after just one play on offense for Albuquerque on that drive. Thompson fighting his way up the gut there. He's got himself a first down. They give him the football again. He takes it up the middle again and Eugene Thomas drags him down after he picks up just three. Pass to the right side is going to fall incomplete, but another flag, and it's going to be another roughing the passer penalty, this time against Daryl Fannin, and that's going to put them inside of the red zone. Here's Thompson on the ground, and he's going to get brought down from behind by Daryl Fannin himself there. Give it to Thompson on second down and 12. He picks up four. Third down now. Dorsey throws this one over the middle into some heavy traffic and incomplete. And the Packers are going to have to settle for this field goal from 32 yards out. It is up and good, making it a 14-point game. Green Bay has really controlled this one so far tonight. Albuquerque's got to do something to get into the end zone. Here's Jerome Mathis from his own end zone. He's going to return this one to the left side now. Gets across the 30-yard line, and he's going to get brought down just shy of the 40. He's had a good handful of big returns this season. Here's a play fake now, cross rolling to his right, firing this one downfield for Ward, and he hauls it in inside of the 20 already. What a throw by Cross, who got rid of that as soon, right or right before rather, uh, that then he got hit. Huge play, huge throw getting that one downfield. There's a nice run by Gordon as he takes it to the left. It's going to be third down and five now. Cross finds Fitzgerald on the right side, and that's going to get us inside of the five. Goal to go now. Cross goes to the end zone. Touchdown. Gordon is in the end zone now for his first receiving touchdown. I almost call him Darren Gordon, but that is Jake Gordon, our rookie running back with his first touchdown reception of the season, I do believe. So now Mitch Myers out of his own end zone looking to get a big kick return of his own, cutting it back and forth as he takes it upfield. And even better than Jerome Mathis's kick return, he gets us out to the 43. So the Packers now to attempt a two-minute drill. There's a nice throw over the middle caught by Carey a little. It's going to make it third down and short. Dorsey's got time. Fires this one to the left and incomplete behind his intended receiver. So despite the great kick return there, they go three and out. So now Albuquerque's looking to put together a two-minute drill. Once again, directing traffic downfield for Phillips. He goes up. He brings it down this time, holds on to it, and now has to limp off of the field. Albuquerque burns their first time out. Less than a minute to go now. Going for it all here. Jamarcus Ward has space, and he's got a Vipers touchdown. Just like that, Albuquerque has come a roaring back just before halftime, and that's going to make it a 17-apiece game here. Green Bay now, is they've given up 14 unanswered points, and they're trying to do a little bit more here in the second half. That's a nice start to this drive as Dexter Thompson picks up a first down. Give it to him again. Quaim Holt with the stop after he picks up a gain of four, and it's not good news for Charles Phillips. A torn pectoral is going to sideline him for 10 weeks, so a good chunk of the regular season now. That is very disappointing for the Albuquerque offense. Nice run there by Thompson. He's been running the football with some power today, and he gets that one just across the 50. Now Dorsey going to the end zone. Coleman tries diving for it there in double man coverage, and now Dorsey is hurt and limping off of the field. So now Allen Cox in at quarterback. The third stringer hands it off. It's going to be about five yards there. Third down and six. Cox to throw for the first time today into the ground there as we sent the blitz. Fourth down and six, and Green Bay's got a punt. And we've got a chance now to drive downfield and take our lead for the first time since early in the first quarter. Nice catch by Ward there as he picks up a gain of seven. He's having himself a pretty nice game. 
and it's nothing too serious for Ken Dorsey. He just had the wind knocked out of him, and he should be back on the next Green Bay drive. Jake Gordon taking this carry to the right side, and it's going to be another solid game. The rookie has had a slow start to his career, but he's got some nice runs like that. Give it to him again. Nice job using his blocking there. That's going to be about seven or eight yards. Here's a play fake. Cross under some pressure. Rolling to his right. Fires off his back foot downfield for Fitzgerald. Who hauls it in despite the double man coverage. And now Cross is going to have to limp off of the field. He's already suffered one minor injury this season. Another one there. And uh, Dejon Beasley comes into the game. Immediately gets sacked. Thank goodness, nothing too serious for Cross. Last thing we needed was to be missing Cross and Phillips in the same game here. Deshaun Beasley, he's a solid backup, and he's going to have to throw on third down and 11. Going to the flat here, Mathis makes the reception, but uh, that's going to be a couple yards shy of the sticks. Fourth down and three, and we're going to have to bring out Koch for the field goal, but to give us the lead again, this one from 50 yards, and of course he nails it. Ken Dorsey back in the game here for Green Bay, but he's going to be faced with an early third down. Floated over the middle for John Hitchcock, and he's in open space. Kelly doesn't have the speed, and he's going to take it the distance. Albuquerque's lead only lasts a handful of plays as Green Bay is now back in front into what's been turning into a Monday night classic now as John Hitchcock takes it all the way to the end zone. This Green Bay team has got some real nice receivers. Cross now back in the game himself, and he's got Vagenos wide open over the middle, getting us out just shy of midfield. Darren Gordon taking this one to the left side. That's going to be four yards. Here's a play fake. Cross looking to throw to the right side. He's got Fitzgerald, who's wide open, out across the 30-yard line. Both defenses in tonight's game seem to be pretty gassed now as we get towards the end of it. Into the final quarter of play, Albuquerque's faced with third down. Cross fires over the middle for Ward, and he got just enough for the first down. And that's going to keep this drive alive. Cross dropping back to throw again. He's got time. Fitzgerald is in the flat. He's going to take it upfield for about eight yards. Now on second down, handoff goes to Gordon, and he's going to power forward for the first down. Goal to go now for Albuquerque. Cross roll out to his right. Lewis has the catch, but out of bounds. Second down and goal. Now we're going to give it to Gordon. It's actually going to be a fake. Looking like they were going to try to run a wide receiver reverse, but Cross couldn't even get the handoff. Third and goal now from around about 12-yard line. Rolling to his right, and Cross is going to try to run for it. He's just going to get down inside of the five, though, and... Uh, just down at the goal line, we're going to be settling for another field goal by Koch. Just a one-point game now. Six and a half minutes to play. Thompson with the carry as he takes it up the gut. And it's going to be a gain of seven. Now on second down, play fake. And Ken Dorsey's going down. The Vipers sent the cornerback blitz there with Sykes. And he got to him the first sack of the night for Albuquerque. Green Bay is 4 for 7 on third down. Looking for the conversion here. Instead, it's going to be intercepted by Justin Williams, the rookie with his second or third interception on the season. So now Albuquerque with some great field position, but we start off by going backwards. Loss of 8 on the sack. So now second down and long cross is going to throw on the move. Jake Gordon comes down with the reception. That's going to pick up first down yardage and a little bit more on top of that. So it doesn't even matter that we got sacked. And now cross rolling to his left. Wide open running lane. Touchdown Albuquerque Vipers. And we're going to recapture the lead on that nice scramble by our quarterback. Going for two to make it a seven-point game. Firing to the end zone and broken up there looking for Ward. So we just have a five-point lead right now with just about five minutes to go. Dexter Thompson takes this carry to the left side. That's going to pick up about 10 yards. He has been having a heck of a night. Carry goes too little now, and he's going to take this one. Well, he was going east and west there. That's not what you want to do. Finally does take it north and picks up a solid gain of seven. Handoff goes to Thompson. He's got himself the first down, keeping this drive alive here for Green Bay. Just over two minutes to go. Thompson on another draw play. He takes it up the gut, and that should bring us down to the two-minute warning. Green Bay looking for the conversion on third down. Albuquerque looking for the stop. Pass is going to be caught by Golden the flat, and they're going to give him just enough for the first down. 
Green Bay continues to drive. Now off his back foot downfield. It's going to be caught by Seymour. He's inside of the red zone. And John Kelly's not going to get outrun this time. Brings him down at the 14. Pass is going to be caught by Coleman on the left side. A laser thrown by Dorsey there. Picks up a gain of 7. Now Pate takes it right up the gut. And the fullback is going to be down to the goal line. Green Bay's going to hurry things up. First down and goal. Dorsey's got time. It's going to expire though. Sacked by Bernard Bailey and the clock keeps ticking. Second down and goal. They need a touchdown. Pass going to the flat and it's going to be a catch by Thompson down to the two. Third down and goal. Dorsey takes the snap under some pressure. Still gets it out to John Hitchcock for the touchdown. And I have no idea how Ken Dorsey did that there. Getting wrapped up in a sack as he let the pass go. I mean, honestly, if you just slap the name Aaron Rodgers on him, no one would be able to tell the difference. Now they're going to go for two, and they're going to get it. It's going to be a three-point game with a minute 07 left to go. So Cross, time to go downfield and put it together a game-winning drive. That's a nice start to it there. Throwing the quick slant, and it's going to be picked off. Troy Malone with his second big play of the game. He forced the fumble on Phillips earlier, and now comes down with a potential game-sealing interception. The Vipers have all their timeouts left, though, and our defense can still get us the football back. Nice play there as uh, Chris Baker, or Jesse Baker, rather, gets us a big tackle for loss. Now it's going to be third down and 15. We're down to one timeout. Handoff is to Thompson. He gets away from the first defender in open space. A nasty stiff arm, and he's got himself first down yardage. And Green Bay hands us our second loss of the season. Now it's a two-game losing streak, and both ending in very similar ways where Orlando Cross has a chance to put together a two-minute drill and ends up throwing an interception. Um, he is not the definition of clutch. He may be a great quarterback. A lot of root words do describe him. Unfortunately, clutch has not been one of them. As uh, two interceptions on the last two potential game-winning drives, we could very well be 4-0 right now, but uh, unfortunately, we are not. How about Jamarcus Ward going off on today's game, though? I mean, Cross had a really good game, too, if you take out the interception. Uh, well over 60% completion percentage. Uh, the team as a whole, we played good these last two games, just not good enough. And if we want to go on to get, another, get to another Super Bowl, we've got to play better than we have been these past two weeks. Washington has been playing real good this season now, 3-1, and one, and they just shut out Dallas. I really thought the Cowboys would be doing better this season, but uh, they just got out shut out by the Redskins, 27 to nothing to drop them to 1-3. and three. The Steelers remain undefeated. They hand the Niners their first loss of the season, but San Francisco, they look like the real deal, even with Jared Williams at quarterback now with Benji Barton still out due to injury and still out for, I think, a good chunk of the season. San Francisco, despite this loss, looks legit. And Indianapolis, they dropped to 2-2 two and two now, maybe a little bit overhyped throughout the offseason. Rodgers held to 92 yards, two interceptions. Eli Manning throws three touchdowns in the victory. Houston is 4-0. And that's going to be a wrap on today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like is always awesome. And until next time, this has been Jeffrey reminding you to stay moist.